to the first video in this tutorial series and without further ado let's get into making our scene look onto something so it's not blank I will import this grid, I will provide you a link down in the description ok let's go in the project right click create material, we'll call it surrounding ok in the hierarchy right click 3D object let's go ahead and create a plane ok just so we know what's going on oh I forgot to assign the material the texture to the material let's go ahead and drag and drop that here or is it... oh reset the position so it's somewhere here and put it so it's something like... where's the camera? okay like that so it's not only blank okay so let's go ahead and create our drone we'll go right click create empty project game project reset the transform we'll call it drone parent hit ok okay so we're gonna instead of that one we're gonna create a new 3d game object we'll just put a cube here let's scale it a little bit so it looks like something that will be drone body for now and in say drone parent let's add a couple of those rotating I don't know how they're called I'll just call them rotators let's scale it down a little bit we'll make those rotate later but just for the sake of simplicity so it looks like something just copy and paste those you don't have to name them anything special just put them here okay so we got that this is our drone let's move it over here so it's in the camera view better okay and that's it for now okay so on the drone parent we want to add the rigid body component and put the mass to 10 kilograms or whatever the unit is just put the mass to 10 next thing we want to do is add the drone movement script and in this one we will be covering the movement up and down so we'll just call it drone movement script hit ok we're doing this in C sharp Op open the script up Uh, original file. Okay, let's go ahead and delete this crap. First off, we need a variable to keep our rigid body, so we'll just go rigid body, our drone. This. So when the script is ran or the scene, we want our drone to get the rigid body component. So we go our drone equals get component rigid body. And that's it. Okay, so in the Avoid fixed update since we're dealing with physics, it's the best to do it in fixed update and not in the update loop. We're gonna go movement up down. This is our method to keep everything nice and neat. Void movement up down like this. Fantasies. Okay. Okay, so first Oh, we are going to move our drone with the controls of WSAD and IJKL and these are the controls that will be controlling the drone you will catch it on if you didn't if you don't know what how we're gonna do it but yeah those are the controls okay so first we'll start off by making our drone levitate in air just by doing nothing so let's go into fixed update let's hit our drone at relative force vector 3 dot up since we're doing it and the up force which we didn't create this is a variable called public float up force this will be actually used in the inspector to check on our forces we will we won't assign this to anything only when the code is run so, if 
input dot get key key code dot i we want our up force to go something like 450 and yeah else if input the get key key code key code k we want up force to be minus 200 and else if we're not clicking the input dot get key key code dot i and if we are not clicking input dot get key key code dot k we want our up force to be 98.1 since that is the force we need to apply the gravity is 9.81 and the up force should be 98.1 newton since it's the gravity times mass to beat it so yeah okay so I think if we go into our scene now we're getting errors okay I forgot to put the float here So I will zoom out our camera a little bit outside just so we can see what's going on. Okay, so you can see uh, something is happening. It's actually on the place because we're clicking nothing and the up force is 98.1 and if I press I it should add force up and if I press K, you see in the inspector it changes so minus 200 and this one when I press I 450 this is it for the first tutorial thank you for watching don't forget to comment like and subscribe and see you in the next one